If you are an RCB fan, you would remember 2016 as the phenomenal year which saw our captain Virat Kohli eclipse his peers. But if you strain your memory a bit, you will also remember 2016 as the same year a young left arm spinner from Delhi stunned the auction pundits by bagging 8.5 crore rupees. Pawan Negi was the highest paid uncapped player in the history of the Indian Premier League and that record stood all the way till 2018 when the Mumbai Indians decided to retain Krunal Pandya for 8.8 .8 crore rupees. Well, it's another story that it was the Royal Challengers of Bangalore that agreed to pay Krunal that hefty sum until the Mumbai Indians swooped in right after. But anyways, what is it that makes Pawan Negi a red hot T20 prospect? Well, let's just say that Negi is the quintessential cricketer that teams would love to have in their ranks. A bowler that bowls very well to the needs of the captain, a destructive batsman down the order and easily one of RCB's fittest athletes. A supremely fit fielder who is equally effective in the ring as he is on the fence. Negi hails from Almora in Uttarakhand, the same place that Mahindra Singh Dhoni's family comes from. But it was only after his family shifted to the capital city of Delhi that Pawan Negi started to play serious school cricket. He idolizes the great Daniel Vettori and would watch his YouTube videos for several hours for inspiration. Started off in the under 15 category as a medium pacer, but back issues would force him to switch to spin bowling and also focus on his batting at the same time. It wasn't going to be long for people to notice the potential in him and they did. A Ranji Trophy debut for Delhi in the year 2011 and that was followed by the big debut in the Indian Premier League for his home team, the Delhi Daredevils, in 2012. But it was only during his stint with the Chennai Super Kings that Pawan Negi flourished as a cricketer and many started to consider Negi as a big all-round prospect for Indian cricket. High quality performances at the big stages has certainly helped Pawan Negi all through his career. A man of the match trophy in the Champions League T20 final certainly paved the way for more opportunities that were to come his way in the following seasons of the Indian Premier League. In many ways, 2016 was a golden year for Pawan Negi in terms of opportunities. He may not have done enough to live up to those huge expectations in terms of his performances in the IPL, but he had certainly done enough for the big Team India debut in the shortest format of the game. The year was 2017 and Pawan Negi's prize in the IPL auction would come down. But the Royal Challengers from Bangalore already noticed the potential the Delhi-based all-rounder had in him and they wouldn't waste any opportunity to bring him into the bold squad. And in just a few months, he would prove them right. 16 wickets in just 12 matches, a bowling economy of just a little over 6 and a mind-boggling bowling average of just 12.3. And that performance was more than good enough for RCB to use their right-to-match card and bring back the stocky sensation into the RCB camp for the 2018 season. And 2019, well, no surprise that RCB retained Pawan Negi simply because of his contributions in every facet of the game. The world of franchise cricket is flooded with left-arm orthodox spinners and is often very difficult to carve a niche for yourself. But Pawan Negi has managed to do exactly that by not restricting himself to any single discipline of the game. And maybe that's why he's always in the reckoning in every single season of the Indian Premier League. Thanks to the lessons that he learned as a 15-year-old, Pawan Negi has managed to stay ahead every single time in the competitive cutthroat world of T20 cricket.